Do you ever have a project that you want to do, but for whatever reason, it seems impossible to start? You have all the right stuff. The camera, the lights, the lenses, the location, the talent, all the resources to make it happen. You even have the drive, the motivation, but when push comes to shove and it's time to begin, the task seems impossible. YouTube has always been a bit of an enigma for me. In theory, the whole process seems pretty simple. You have an idea, you take said idea and turn it into a video, and then you publish that video to YouTube. The problem, for me at least, has always been one simple thing. Me. Well, not me per se, more like a behavior that I tend to display over and over. Perfectionism. See, when I watch YouTube, I have a tendency to be drawn towards certain channels. People like Matty Poya, Potato Jet, Matt Diavila, Peter McKinnon, maybe The Art of Photography, people who have been around for a while. In other words, I'm really drawn to and inspired by people who are A, excellent at the things they do, and B, to some extent or another, have a cult following. And that's great, that's all fine, but because of the perfectionism, all I end up seeing is a mirror in which is reflected me. Little, old, unaccomplished, inexperienced me. So I get scared. I question my own self-worth as an artist, and instead of picking up the camera, I let it sit on the shelf collecting little particles of someday and when I'm better at blank. What's actually happening is that I'm worried about a story that I wrote for myself. Something that says that I'm not skilled enough, or that I'll make a fool out of myself, or that I'll work super hard for nothing. In other words, I'm being a perfectionist. But something occurred to me today. And that's specifically that I have all of the room in the world to make an ass out of myself. No one's paying attention to me yet, which is really kind of awesome. So that means that I can take this channel in whatever direction it is that I feel like, and I don't have anybody to be held accountable to yet. I feel like I deserve a place to express myself and to grow, and I'm gonna be damned if I'm gonna let some bully piece of myself push me around to silence. So to that little voice that is in my head right now, on repeat, saying things like, nothing I ever say will matter, or I will never make a difference, or I'm not good enough, or whatever, I give a warm and hearty fuck you. I'm the captain of this here ship, and I'm no longer interested in what you have to say. Your protection just hurts, and it's time for me to walk my own path and make my own way. Because the fact of the matter is that someday, be it next week or in 60 years, I will die. And if the reason that I did nothing with my life was simply that I was a little bit scared that maybe I wasn't good enough, well, maybe I was right. So here's the plan. For the next 12 weeks, I'm going to make and publish a new video every single week. Work, travel, sickness, rain or shine, that's the plan. And at the end of those 12 weeks, if I decide that I hate this whole YouTube thing, then that's fine. But for now, the plan is to move forward with this channel. You guys can actually help me out for the two of you that will see this in time to give me feedback. Um, what do you guys wanna see? I am particularly interested in making videos surrounding film photography and old tech. So like this guy right here, this is the Canon XL1S. It's the same video camera that uh, 28 Days Later was shot on, but it's uh, from 2001. And I wanna do things like compare it to some modern camera like Blackmagic, like the 4K or the 6K that they just came out with. Um, just goofy shit like that, you know. Uh, let me know if there's any ideas that pop in your head. Greatly appreciate it if you'd put them down into the section down below. If nobody comments, then I'm just gonna make some crap up and we're gonna see what happens. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.